I'm Leslie Meredith with BreakBulk Events and Media, and I'm here in Johannesburg at BreakBulk Africa with one of our speakers from today's session, Duncan Bonnet. Welcome. Thank you. From Africa House. Tell us a little bit about your company. We, we're a specialist consulting firm. We assist companies that are looking to expand into sub-Saharan Africa, including South Africa. So we do research and consulting projects in about 50 countries across the, the region. Excellent. Um, and it sounds um, from, from our conversations that one of the biggest issues uh, in project development these days is logistics. Yes, it is. I, I think particularly for, for large projects, the, the issue of logistics is critical, either to the project actually being developed itself or to successfully export that product, whatever it is, to the market that you're looking at. And as far as um, banks maybe making the decision, what, what kinds of things are they looking at when it comes to logistics? What are sort of the no or the go, no go decisions for them? I, I think the first one is, is there any infrastructure in place? Uh, it's, it's critical whether um, it's, if, it, if it's for a mining project, are there roads or railways that can evacuate the, the ore? Uh, for a power project is the transmission infrastructure in place to get the power from the, the location to maybe the cities or, or neighboring countries that require it. And, what is, and, and if not, what is the cost of constructing that infrastructure and what is the risk, uh, whether that's environmental risk, political risk or any of the other risk factors. Okay, and, and the environment has become a little more difficult with the drop in commodities prices yeah. lately. How is that affecting um, the timelines for projects? I, I think it's, it's, it's probably pushed back projects a couple of years in, in many countries. We haven't seen too many projects completely abandoned, which is the good news. That is good. Okay, the, we yeah. like that. Yeah, <laughs> the, you know, I suppose from a slightly frustrating perspective, a lot of projects are now being uh, developed over a longer time frame. So they haven't been abandoned, but they have been set back two or three or four years waiting for a recovery in commodity prices. Now, is everyone just idle during that time or is there some action? No, there's a lot of, a lot of background development that happens because so many of these projects are in remote locations. Where the decision has, has already been taken to proceed, um, there's a, a, maybe a, a more orderly pace of development in terms of rolling out the, the, the background infrastructure, providing training to local communities um, to be able to participate in the project. So at, at some levels, what's happened is instead of trying to run parallel processes of building the infrastructure for the project at the same time as the project, there's, there's now a slightly longer time phase of building the roads, the, the, the construction camps, the campsites themselves in anticipation of being able to deliver that, uh, the, the, the actual project itself. And having that extra time, how does that affect um, the labor pool? How might that change? Well, hope, hopefully what it means is that you, you are able to, to train up local um, labor to a, to a skills level that they can participate directly in the projects rather than importing labor either from other parts of the country or sometimes from the global labor pool. So, you know, it, it should work to the advantage of local communities depending on the nature of the project. Right, and, and once that education and training has been done, um, that seems like that would have a lasting positive effect. Yes, absolutely. Um, if, you've, if you've done the training and it's been done properly, um, those artisans or those trained staff then have the ability to, to use those skills not only in the capital project itself, but in ancillary projects as they come up and as they develop. Excellent. Well, thank you so much it's for sharing pleasure. this with us. We That's appreciate it. Pleasure.